No slapping your friends while you're playing this one, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are we're playing a game that has online interactions that are unrated. Unrated, guys, by Gearbox and Sega. This, of course, is going to be the hardcore gun toting game of Samba de Amigo, the game where you play with Morocco's and you make cool music in the sun. Oh, look, look how rad that sun is. You're a rad little monkey and you're out looking for trouble. If by trouble you mean playing a consistent beat with Morocco's. And just look, look how excited he is. Oh my god, that, that cartoon little dancing woman has like the most scantily clad butt I've ever seen in like a cartoon video game character. Could have been like a stripper's butt before it panned up and I realized she was kind of, some kind of like weird onion person. So here we go, Samba de Amigo. A very, very weak, he's like sad while he's playing the Moroccos. It's like sullen Morocco time. Uh, I guess Moroccos really run the gamut of all emotions. You can p portray any emotion if you play the Moroccos and you want it bad enough, I guess. So <laughs> I, I can't stop this intro. We just got to see where this goes. Samba de Amigo. All right, let's talk about this for a second. Um, I guess this game lets you live out the fantasy of shaking maracas, being in a band, I guess. I don't know. Very maraca-heavy fantasy fulfillment here. It's by the same developer, Gearbox, who did Al Aliens Colonial Marines, which if you know anything about that game, you know that its release was basically one big shit show. Um, I won't get into the controversy. You can Google it if you're curious. But the developer, Gearbox is one of the shadiest developers I have heard of in recent times. I mean, there's plenty of shady developers out there. But for some reason, they made Samba de Amigo. I mean, they also made, like, Borderlands and Half-Life expansions. Uh, you know, how does a company make a switch from, like, you know, we're really big in the first-person shooters. Let's let's break into the Maraca market, the untapped market of Maracas. I don't know. They made Duke Nukem Forever, which was hated as well. Maybe this game will redeem them. Maybe, maybe. I'm talking too much. We actually got to start playing this. So this game was originally a Dreamcast game. And it was ported over to the Wii, and so we're going to be talking about that a bit. I got my wrist guard on, by the way, because I don't want my controller flying out of my hand, because I know I'm going to get really excited, really into this game. Let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to select a profile to save all our good Maraca progress, and we have many generic faces to pick from. Can you tell that I don't play actual Wii games very much? In fact, this Wii, I think, is completely clear. It's one of my clear Wiis I really haven't played. Okay, let's go with let's go with this guy. I guess he's he looks nothing like me, but it's I mean I guess in some ways he approximates some of my features, so we'll just say yes. Uh, I guess I can't change my name. I'm just known as Guest. Well, that's good enough for me. You've chosen to guest me. None of your scores will be uploaded to the N Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Um, I don't think this Wii has been filled in yet, but I'm pretty sure the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection has been disabled. Nintendo lo no longer. Uh, services that little you know that'd be funny if like the one service that they still maintain is the samba de amigo high score ladder boards and let's start a career i'd say we're gonna go for a career here we're not gonna go for a record or anything shake your left hand arriba here we go okay so we can shake these little wiimotes we got the clock that's just going crazy there to select lower circles hold the wiimote nunchucks like this okay um Got it. Oh, they want it down. Okay, I did it. Now to select the upper circles, hold the Wiimotes like this. Okay, and then hold them. Okay, so it's really just you want to have them facing up or down. Hold left, okay, like this. All right, like this, like this. Oh my God, this is so confusing. Is this, is this, is this what you want? Does this please you? There we go. I can already tell, you know what, when you're having this much trouble with the, like, orientation, it doesn't bode well for the game when, like, it's not going to stop playing the music if I can't align the freaking nunchucks right. So let's go on easy for this because, you know, we know I need to be playing this on easy. Look at this sexy cat woman. Like, is this a game for children or not? And this guy looks, he's got, like, a little French beret. I don't know what's going on there. Baby Amigos challenging. Oh, just just humiliate me, why don't you? This game insults me. Um, okay, so I'm a baby amigo. 
There's all these things. I, are these just sounds? Jump in the line. Let's go for it. Anyway, Samba de Amigo here. This was originally for Dreamcast, and you can still actually get this game for Dreamcast, actually. Um, and I do have a Dreamcast these days, my own Dreamcast. Oh, hey, I know this song. This is from Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, Beetlejuice. Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, I just hit the mic there. I guess if uh, they're willing to play me some Beetlejuice jams, I can get behind this game. Anyway, so it's just a lot of like holding the Wiimote and shaking at the right time, it seems. Okay, this is going to be a hard one to talk over. But anyway, this was originally a Dreamcast game. And in order to play it, you actually needed to buy special Dreamcast Morocco's, if you can believe it. You can still get a hold of these things online, but they cost anywhere from 100 to 169 dollars. Pose? Well, I, I'm not even standing up. Do you know this game? I'm just sitting in a chair being lazy about this. Okay, so it's not that not hard. This is really just like Guitar Hero, but with maracas. So if Guitar Hero wasn't, uh, you know, I don't know, Spanish enough for you, you can go ahead and get Samba de Amigo. But uh, if you're playing it on the original Dreamcast, it's going to set you off back by over 100 bucks. I was definitely not going to do that for a one-time Let's Play. I guess I didn't make the pose there. So I'm playing this on the Wii. This is one of the few games that, like, it really makes sense to have a Wii port of it. Because, hey... I mean, I can already tell this is probably not going to be a game that, like, I I am super, super a fan of. It's, it's just sort of a random motion game. Um, it's not what I would consider, personally, like, a really great and engaging video game. But that said, you know, you can have some fun with it. And I definitely am a fan of preserving gaming history. So if this had only ever come out on Dreamcast and they had never ported it to anything, well, the Dreamcast is kind of gone now. You can't buy them new, obviously, and they're no, no longer being supported. I mean, the Wii is also gone, but it... It existed a lot more popularly than the um, than than the Dreamcast ever did. So at least you can get this game in some capacity. So I am happy it exists. Okay, so we passed Jump in the Line. I think we did an okay job. Let's see, Samba de Janeiro. Oh my God, my 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 lack my significant lack of Spanish skills are going to be very obvious in this video. So just uh, take it with a grain of salt. Three, two, but uh, one, yeah, go. I'm glad this game was ported. You know, unlike, you know, say, like, light gun games, which, you know, I mean, I've talked at length about my views on light gun games and how I feel like they really are kind of getting lost to the ages and there's no proper way to play them anymore. If you want, like, the full breakdown, go watch my Operation Wolf uh, video. But it's, I, I always, I bring it up, I feel like, not infrequently, the whole light gun thing. I feel like maybe it's, like, my, uh, my crusade. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're, we're going all crazy. Oh, and somehow I posed correctly. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this game kind of, if you were standing up and playing this, like at a party or something, it would kind of mix exercise with Guitar Hero. Because, like, it's it's pretty, this is pretty much just like Guitar Hero, or like, what is it? It's like the Dance Dance Revolution games, kind of. It, exact same style of game as that. So, you know what? Hey, if you like those kinds of games, this is like a new game for you with new songs. It's got real songs. I thought it was going to have, like, fake cartoony uh, songs, but it has real songs. I mean, this is a real song. I don't know it, but I can kind of recognize it's a real song. So, oh, what do you know? I got that one too. Wasn't even trying. <laughs> so we're on the baby level because it isn't giving us any of the green circles yet. It's like, no, those green donuts are pretty advanced stuff. We're going to keep you on a solid diet of red and yellow. Look at that little, the, the girl dancing with the hearts on her boobs. That is, that is some crazy, I don't even know what you'd call her. She seems like a, I don't know, some kind of like festival dance or something. I don't know. We have 34 amigos. 36 amigos. Doesn't amigo mean friend? I earned 36 friends from that song, guys. It's because, and I got an A. You know what, when you get A's in school, you earn friends. And I just got 36 more. So what do you think of that, huh? You jealous? Probably Baby jealous. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else we got? We'll go through a couple of these. Um, I feel like there isn't too much gameplay for me to really be talking about here because literally it's just me shaking some Wiimotes and you're just going to hear some songs and you're just going to see random animations in the background. So, yeah. Oh, oh my God. This is a Rob Thomas song. 
Okay, now I'm worried about like this video getting content ID'd by YouTube and me getting a copyright strike. I, I have to, I legitimately have to look up whether I can upload this video or not, whether it's going to cause problems. I sincerely hope it, it doesn't. Because, uh, hey, we all, uh, we all need a bit of Rob Thomas in our life from time to time. So, hey, here you go. Rob Thomas in a uh, Wii slash Dreamcast game. So, I don't know. This game, like, blurs the line between whether it's meant for adults or children. Like, is it supposed to be mature or for kids? I don't know. It looks like it's for kids from the graphics, but the songs have been, like, kind of, like, I wouldn't say childish, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, here's one thing that is weird to me, though. How Dreamcast was doing this kind of motion stuff a couple years before the Wii. Like, the Sega Dreamcast... Okay, when I first saw the Sega Dreamcast, I saw it at a Quake 3 LAN party that I went to in high school. Yes, I was totally cool in high school. As you can probably tell from my social interactions, I went to Quake 3 LAN parties. Um, believe it or not, I was actually a little bit cool in high school. Anyway, um, <clears throat> when I first saw a Dreamcast, my friend brought it to this LAN party. And I looked at it, and he started it up. And if you know Sega, like, in the era of the Sega Genesis and stuff, they would they would always advertise themselves as, like, the badass console. Like, uh, they their commercials, their, their slogan was always said, like, Sega! And they always advertised sports stuff, and they were, like, the black console. Like, they seemed, like kind of more dangerous whereas nintendo was like for kids kind of so the dreamcast comes out it's a gray console first of all it kind of looks like a nintendo console and then if you know the, the dreamcast like startup logo it kind of sounds like a nintendo thing like it's kind of like happy and blippy and it just struck me as very i was like <laughs> i think what i said when i first saw the dreamcast was like oh my god they've uh, they, they, they've gone, uh, I don't want to say the word because it's rude these days, but they've gone something like Nintendo. And, uh, yeah, the Dreamcast just always struck me as a Nintendo-ish console. And so it's kind of weird that they actually had, they were experimenting with these motion controls kind of like well in advance of Nintendo. Um, almost predicting like Nintendo, you know, like Sega made the Dreamcast, they were experimenting with motion controls and stuff, then the Dreamcast totally like flopped. Then Nintendo like, uh, you know, after that, at some point, made the Wii, which was a huge success, brought in tons of casual players. But then they made the Wii U, which was not a huge success, which really, if you look at the Wii U sales numbers, I think people have done this. It's comparable to what the Dreamcast did, at least in its first year or two. And so it's kind of like Nintendo followed Sega almost, but um, hopefully Nintendo recovers. You know, we don't want to lose Nintendo as a game company, but it's just sort of weird that the Dreamcast feels like it has this odd connection to Nintendo. It's almost like a Nintendo system. It was more Nintendo than it was Sega, I'll say that. Uh, even though it technically was a Sega system, but I know that's just sort of how I view it. It also kind of feels a little bit like the predecessor to the Xbox. It's this weird hybrid between like Nintendo and Xbox in a way. I don't know. That's just sort of where the dream, what the Dreamcast feels like to me. But anyway, um, this game, I don't, I don't even know like how long I should play this game. In fact, I don't even think I'm really gonna play it all that much longer. Um, I'm just sitting here like talking, r talking about random nonsense about the Dreamcast, and there isn't much to say. There's like dancing bears in the background, but it's like bears in bear suits. If you see their heads are popping off. Uh, but if I look at that, I get distracted from these things that I'm supposed to be, you know, hitting. These little balls. I don't know. These, like, Guitar Hero always struck me as weird in this way, too. Where, like, you were supposed to stare just at the notes that were coming up so you didn't, you know, mess up. But there was all this distracting crap in the background. And if you looked at it, it was kind of interesting. But in looking at it, you would do worse in, uh, in the actual games. So I don't know. So, yeah, there, I mean, I can't really concentrate on the background much. I hope it's been amusing you guys. But, okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the last song, then we'll just check to see what that unlocks. And honestly, like, what what gameplay is there here for me to assess? I don't, I don't know. It's th this, is a, this is an interesting choice for the 1,001 games you must play before you die. I will say that uh, I'm definitely not of the mindset that every game has to be the same. So, And I'm not saying that... Oh, what do we do? Shake. Oh, that was kind of fun. <clears throat> I'm not saying that every game has to be, you know, a first-person shooter or whatever. Definitely there's room for a variety of games to exist. 
Um, but I will say that, like, you know, everyone has their own, like, favorite genre of game. And for me, I don't, like, I don't think, think I would re spend very much time playing this. The thing I always found with motion controls is I grew up playing video games. I like to sit down and hold a controller or hold a mouse and keyboard. I like video games to be something I can think about. You know, I do like action video games like Mario and stuff or shooters. But like these like motion games where I have to move at the game speed. I don't know. I don't. This is just whenever for me. I don't know. That's, that's my own opinion here. I guess I'm starting to wrap this game up. So yeah, this game was in the book. 1001 video games you must play before you die. I don't know, what do you guys think about this? Like, hopefully, A, hopefully it's been kind of interesting to at least see it. You know, with this with this 1001 games quest that I'm on, we're not gonna love every game we see, but at least we'll be able to say that we saw them, right? And I think that's important. Being exposed to new ideas in life is important. So even if this isn't game that, a game that you wanna play, at least it's, hopefully it's kind of interesting kind of enjoyed my dissection of it or my discussion of the Dreamcast. And hey, at least now you know what this game is all about. You've seen it in action. But yeah, in terms of like its pros and cons, like it seems like a, a, a reasonable, you know, kind of party-ish game, like in the vein of Guitar Hero and stuff. And I could see this being fun if, uh, you know, you were looking for this kind of game. I think to most like gamers, this is not a game you're going to want to play. Um, you know, like you'll, you'll want to play your Diablos and like your, I don't know, what do people play these day, these days, uh, like Skyrim and your Assassin's Creed and your Battlefields and your Mario, even there's Nintendo gamers too, and your Legend of Zelda. I don't imagine a lot of people are going to sit here in their basement and be playing Samba de Amigo. It's kind of like a party game. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, it even said it to me. You can now play the Macarena. Oh, well, we got to end on the Macarena. Don't we? I mean, that's such a recognizable song. This video is totally getting taken down by YouTube. I swear, they're gonna they're gonna content ID the hell out of this thing. I've always wondered what happens if you have two songs in a video and they both get content ID and they're owned by different people. How do how do those content holders work out who gets the ad revenue from that? Uh, I don't know. What's love love? Cooperatively with the computer. Oh, that's interesting. Oh wait. There's mini games? Oh yeah, we're totally doing a mini game. Oh my god, here's where things get interesting. What, we could have been doing this the whole time? Okay, we're gonna try volleyball real quick and then uh, swing at the pinata. Let's see how this works. Uh, sure, let's, let's try this. Move your hands to keep your ball in the air. I got it. I, this, ain't my first, this ain't my first rodeo, you know. I played a lot of games in my time. Okay, here we go. People have been so worked up by all the uh, Mexican, Mexicana, you know, Spanish music playing that they need to watch some good old volleyball. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, how do we, oh God, oh. <laughs> this is, I don't even know how to move my hand. Look, it's just, it's teleporting all over the place. How do we, how do we, how do we, I'm moving the remotes. I'm, I'm for nothing. No, no. Don't do this. Why is my hand up high in the air? Oh, come on, monkey. I'm building. Look, I, I can shake it to build up the power level. Do something. <laughs> oh, I'm being destroyed. I'm being dominated. This, this, there's like a little leprechaun in the lower left corner. It's like the happiest day of his life. There's a cactus man dancing in the background. I'm just looking at the, the scenery now because I cannot I cannot figure this out. doesn't matter where I move my hands. I'm moving them all over the place now. But, uh, okay. Well, you... Just watch me lose at volleyball then. I guess, well, the pinata I don't have high hopes for. See, this is my problem with motion control games, is that I find them very sketchy. If I just could use a D-pad, I feel like I would have played this way better. It's hard for a D-pad to really mess up the controls. <laughs> Zero to 15. That is a fail, my friend. In fact, you can't fail much worse than that. Um, yeah, yeah, let me restart. Let me, let me try that one again. How about we just quit? What what's happening here? Here we go. End game. Let's let's scrub that from the records. Just forget that I played volleyball here today, guys. I'm gonna try one more time. We go into pinata here and see what this one's all about. So guys, ultimately my own personal recommendation after my first impression here is if you are looking for this kind of rhythm game, this game might be of interest to you. And you, if you want to check it out, check it out on the Wii. 
But uh, as far as, uh, you know, are most gamers going to be enthralled by this? I don't think so. I think this is sort of a niche game. And it's semi-interesting. Oh, man, this thing is just taking a beating. Oh, we smashed it good. 25 hits. Man, that, that is like the miniest of all mini games. I didn't have to do anything but swing my hand. Wow, that was a game? Okay, I guess we have time for one more. How about Power Rush? There's guacamole, but it's locked. You have to earn guacamole in this world. Shoot, break the rocks. Okay. So a lot of these mini games are just like shaking stuff. Alright. Anyway, I guess we've seen enough. Guys, what do you think? Do you agree with my uh, recommendation here about Samba de Amigo? Is this a favorite of yours? Is this a game that you have never played and maybe would never play? Or is it a game you've never played and after my little playthrough here, you're like, eh, I don't know, I could see myself enjoying it. Let me know in the comments down below as I'm always eager to hear from you guys. And whether you agree with me or not about this game, hopefully you've had fun. If so, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a couple days. Um, and you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, and peace. Oh, wait, we've unlocked guacamole. Well, we, we, we've got to try guacamole. Or guacamole? Guacamole? Oh, we're, we're, we're going for it. Here we go, guys. Are, are, are you excited? Oh, it's whack-a-mole. Oh. Okay. Well... Yeah, I mean, all these mini games are just variations of the, the actual game. You can just move your hands all over the place and uh, be swinging, and you hit most of them. So the strategy is to just have a seizure. I, I would be doing as well this game if I was having a seizure as I am when I'm, like, conscious. So there you go. That's guacamole. 47. Oh, that only hurts you a B. Well, there we go, guys. I hope you're satisfied.